Vale, ok. Uh, hello and welcome to this, uh, to this uh, workshop about Aliada. We have called it Opening the Cultural Data Silos to the World. Today we are five people from the project here, from two of the partners, from Technali and from Scambit. And I, I am uh, Marta González and I would like uh, to introduce you uh, Aliada. Okay, so yes, now how to access uh, cultural data. Yes, an example only in Spain here, we have more than 1,000 museums and more than 6,800 libraries. The great majority of them provide all their or part of their catalog through a website. So if we, ha if we, uh, if we want to access to the different, uh, to the catalogs, we have to go web by web. Okay, yes, um, uh, to, uh, to consult each of the different elements of the collections. Or in case you don't have your data digitalized, then you have to go personally to the museum or to the library. So why cultural data should be open to the world? We have two reasons that are, uh, that are uh, good for the rest of the world because it's a benefit for the general public because they will have access to our collection, to our uh, cultural heritage, because we allow our richer research and we are, are promoting innovation, opening data. And, what, and uh, which is the benefit that we will obtain as, as cultural institutions is that we will have a major position uh, and promotion of our content in the world. So, now I would like to introduce a term coined by Tim Berners-Lee that is linked data. It's a method to publish a structured data so that data can be interlinked and so become more useful. And it's a path to the web of data. The web of data is the, uh, that Tim Berners-Lee uh, said that the actual web uh, should be um, is oriented is addressed to people to human to humans but he said okay but web also should be addressed to machines should be the web of data should be searchable browsable by machines and linked data use a standard web technologies as HTTP RDF Sparkle OWL etc. So with linked data, we share information that can be automatically uh, read by computers. And we also enable that different and disparate data source can be connected and queried. And are your library or museum linked open data? Is open is linked data if you are five stars. What does it mean? With one star, you have data published under a license. With two stars, you have also machine readable data. With three stars, we have non-proprietary format. With four, we use RDF standards. And with five, we link our data to other data sets. So with five stars, with linked data, we are moving from the web of documents, the web that we know, to the web of data web, where machines can exploit the data published. But why are we applying linked open data in museums and libraries? Because we are creating a global pool of shared data that can be reduced to describe um, other resources to avoid the redundant effort of our current cataloging processes because we use the web and the, um, and the web uh, based identifiers, descriptions and can be directable, citable by catalogers. And linked data is more durable and robust than, uh, than the metadata formats that depend on a particular structure. So developers will no longer have to work with library specific data format, uh, formats as uh, MARC, LEED or, or Dublin Core. And with linked data, we increase our presence on the web because 
the most information seekers can find us now. This is uh, some examples of uh, which institutions are on the linked data cloud. Okay, we have the, uh, the, nation, the Spanish National Library, the European Library, the, uh, the German uh, National Library, the Library of Congress of the United States, we have Europeana, uh, OCLC, among others. And how, okay, we say, okay, we agree, linked data is very interesting for, uh, for my institutions to publish and to connect with to other existing data sets, but how to publish on linked data? So you have to follow some steps. First, you have to export your metadata of your collections to a standard format as MARC, LID, or Dublin Core. You have to define an ontology according to international conceptual uh, models as uh, R FRBR, as BFRAME, or CEDOC CRM in case of museums. You have to transform your metadata to RDF. And you have to create the, the referenceable URIs. That means a uh, URI is unique for a concept, for an element of your collection that if it is consulted by, the, by a human, then it will, um, you will retrieve a page, a web page that as a human you can understand, and in case you are a machine, then you will retrieve RDF. Uh, you have to link to other existing data, data sets on the cloud, and you have to publish also your data sets. So how to do all these uh, steps automatically without needing to know uh, about the, the technology that is uh, underneath uh, linked data? You can use Aliada. Aliada is the ally. It's an open source Java application to automatically publish as linked data, metadata created by library or museums management systems. It supports different metadata types as bibliographic records, authority records, and description of museum objects. It is compliant with MARC, LIDO, and Dublin Core. It converts to RDF using the Aliada ontology that we have defined, and, and it's uh, mainly based on FRBROO that includes uh, CDOC CRM, SCOS, and FOAF. And we link to other data sets on the cloud, as Europeana, as the British National Bibliography, as the Spanish National Library, or the or DBpedia, or FIBase, or MARC code list, etc. And we also provide an automatic publication of dumps and a Sparkle uh, endpoint on Data Hub. So who is who in Aliada? Aliada is a European project founded by the European Commission and it's led by Scambit, that is an uh, ILES and library services uh, company in Spain. We are also Technalia, providing the semantic uh, knowledge. At Cool, that also is, um, is uh, similar to Scambit, and they are in uh, Italy. We have the, the Artium Museum in Spain, and the Museum of Fine Arts on Budapest.